soul fam welcome back to another cosmic connections video with me emily the mystic i thank you all for your patience if you have been keeping up with this cosmic connection series i took the week off last week for the thanksgiving holiday and i'm getting back into things i honestly generally channel my videos live every single week and so i didn't get the chance to do it last week and i'm excited to get right back into it today as you can see we've decorated a little bit for the holiday season over here at Shay Emily the Mystic. And yeah, but anyway, that's just a side note. I'm excited to dive into this video today to share with you all the information that wanted to come through today. If you are brand new to me and my work, welcome. I am an Akashic Records channeler and intuitive coach and mentor. And I'm obsessed with learning about all these different galactic groups, getting to know them better and sharing their information with you so that you can learn more about them for yourself in your own life, as well as whether or not you perhaps are a star seed from one of these groups. The group that wanted to step forward today is an unusual one, one that I didn't know anything about prior to doing this video, and one that there is literally zero information out there on the internet. So this is what I've channeled, you guys. This is coming through me. This is coming through the Akashic Records and my understanding of some of the galactic events that I'm going to share with you today. So of course, take everything that is channeled with a grain of salt and take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. But I hope that you find the information in this video to be interesting because I definitely did. So today we are talking about the Maldekians or Maldesians, however you want to pronounce that, from the planet of Maldekians deck, which is from our solar system, actually, that planet used to exist here. And the planet itself existed near Mars, uh, I believe between Mars and Venus. And what happened was that there was actually some galactic conflict. The planet of Maldek existed millions and millions and millions of years ago before planet Earth was colonized, <laughs> as I like to say, before it was inhabited by beings like ourselves, by human beings, and before some of the ancient civilizations here on planet Earth were created. What you will see with the story of Maldek is that the there are a lot of parallels between what happened in ancient Atlantis and what happened in Maldek. It's sort of one of those typical archetypal stories of that specific civilization getting almost to be too big for its britches and almost kind of self-destructing and destroying itself, which is very, very interesting. So I'm excited to get into it. So we are talking about, again, the Maldekians, the Maldesians, <clears throat> and planet Maldek. There are starseeds from this particular planet who are inhabiting human bodies here on planet Earth at this time. And they are here for a very specific purpose, for very specific reasons, which I will get to momentarily. But we need to talk a little bit about the history of planet Maldek itself. Again, this planet was destroyed and it created the asteroid belt near planet Mars. From what I have sort of come to understand, the energy frequency of the planet of Maldek is very, is very similar to the energy frequency of the planet Mars and the Mars beings, which I have not interviewed yet for this series, but will be doing so in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that. But for whatever reason, the Maldekians wanted to come through first. So when these beings came through to me, they are coming through very tall. And I get the sense that they are very serious in their energy frequency. They honestly carry a little bit of almost like a royal frequency. Very, They stand tall. They stand proud. They're sort of strong and proud despite everything that has happened on their planet. And by the way, you guys, when I am channeling beings from a planet that no longer exists in terms of uh, linear time. It's just a reminder to you that time is actually multidimensional and that we're able to communicate with beings past, present, and future who have messages to share about their experience in, in how do I want to say this, in our universe, basically. So these Maldekian beings, they came through to me very strongly. There was a male, there was a female, and there was a being that came through that almost looked like it had that 
head of either a wolf or a dog or some other creature in a bipedal human body, you know, two arms, two legs. And when they came through to me, they came through wearing these long robes with this very sort of serious countenance and a little bit of an intensity, a little bit of an intense demeanor. So they're very different than some of these sort of other like love and light, uh, beautiful, cosmic, magical, mystical groups that I have interviewed for this series. So they are a little bit more serious. They're a little bit more intense in their energy, which really kind of describes what happened on their planet and the history, the galactic history that, that, that happened, that took place. So the planet of Maldek was destroyed in what they are sharing with me as being a galactic war. Now, the information about this galactic war is really quite interesting in that it was a bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy. So the beings of Maldek are extremely intellectual. They're very smart. They're very logical. They are excellent creators of technology. As you've seen in this series, there are a lot of galactic groups that are incredible with creating powerful technology. However, the Maldekians took it a little bit too far. They also were very insular in their approach to life in our galaxy and even in the universe, meaning that they lived a very isolated existence on their planet. They did not try to get to know other beings. They did not try to travel to other planets. They kept everything in Maldek. They did not communicate, collaborate, connect with other beings from other places. And you may be thinking to yourself, well, did they know that other beings existed? And the answer to that question is yes. The Maldekians were a very advanced planetary race. They knew a lot about technology, and their technology was evolved to the point that they could communicate with other beings if they wanted to. However, where this is going, similar to what happened in ancient Atlantis, is that all of the fear frequency, the negative belief systems, the intensity over work and the intensity over technology, these beings were very work-oriented, hard workers, again, very serious, very detail-oriented, very masculine energy in nature. They really, again, took things too far, which unfortunately led, again, similar to ancient Atlantis, to the destruction of their planet. What happened, what they're sharing with me, is that another galactic group, of which they're not giving me a lot of information, came to visit their planet in an attempt to connect with and collaborate with the Maldekians. And they basically freaked out and they were like, no, you're not welcome here. This planet is not (laughs) conducive to you. We do our own thing. We're not interested. And that created conflict. And that conflict led, unfortunately, to the destruction of the planet, which led to the creation of the asteroid belt that is now located near Mars. So very, very interesting in that these groups were very inwardly focused. They had no desire and intent to connect with other beings. However, they were incredibly intelligent. They knew a lot about creating technology that should be able to advance the evolution of their species, that should be able to be used to help others. But they lived in such a state of fear and a state of power and a sense of overindulgence, overdoing, overworking, that they really lost sight of the purpose of what it really means to have a body, to enjoy the experience of even being alive. And they, again, took everything too far leading again to the destruction of their planet. So this is a bit of a sad story. However, Maldekian starseeds are here with a very specific and serious mission and purpose here on this planet. They are laughing with me because 
<laughs> if you are a Maldekian starseed, and by the way, I personally have not met one, so if you resonate with this, please uh, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear about that. Um, but if you do resonate with being a Maldekian starseed, it is very likely that you are here at this time to learn how to have fun, to let go of the seriousness, the workaholism, the intensity over your job, the intensity over perhaps your business or your work life, and to be able to relax a little bit, to be able to be more laid back, to laugh, and to be less serious. Because that intensity over one's projects, one's work, the focus on the external validation of being in, and also being in competition with other beings of that same race, all of that just completely blew up and was proved to be very self-destructive. So for you as a Maldekian starseed, again, you're here to take it down a notch and to learn how to have more fun. You are also here because you're extremely smart, you're extremely intelligent, you're here to create a new technology that is going to improve the lives of here, people here on planet Earth. Maldekian starseeds knew that they needed to incarnate here in order to continue their evolution as a soul because they were not able to do that when their planet got destroyed. And planet Earth is the perfect place for them to continue their own journeys. So Maldekian starseeds in your life, they're going to be the more logical, more analytical, more um, internally focused of your friends and your family. They may have trouble connecting to their emotions. They're really truly connected to the left brain and not so much to the right brain creativity and the divine feminine side. So a big lesson for Maldekian starseeds in this lifetime is to learn how to connect to their emotions and to learn that their emotions are not going to hurt them or harm them or cause them any pain in the long run. In fact, emotions are simply temporary and emotions can pass through your body as quickly as they begin. So it's going to be a big lesson for you to learn how to disconnect from that more intense analytical logical side and learn how to connect more to your feminine, intuitive, empathic, and emotional side. But you're an incredibly smart person, and you have lifetimes of experience creating powerful technologies, and you're meant to bring the, some of those technologies here to planet Earth in order to help others. Because you're meant to use those technologies to help the human race to evolve. So you may be here to create a medical technology, or they were saying specifically medical technologies and transportation, and really improving those areas of our of our life here on planet Earth. As you know, if I live in the United States, our transportation systems here are pretty bad. Uh, so you may be involved in helping create new cars or help to create these incredible electric vehicles, or maybe to create new train systems, or uh, evolve the airplane, or whatever it may be. So you may be here to help with technologies to assist us on planet Earth in general, again, to evolve. You may be an architect, or creating technologies that assist in a more pleasant life at home. And again, I want you to remember that your overall mission here is to learn how to have fun and to be joyful and to have a good time. So the work that you're here to do may help with that in some way, such as perhaps your car that you're designing helps to create this magnificent experience for people that's so fun and joyful. Or perhaps your medical technology that you're developing helps people live a more free life, a, a life with freedom of movement or less worry about the physical body in some respect. So the work that you're here to do is really powerful because it's going to help, again, people to worry less, to be less anxious, to get out of the head and more into the heart. And that's also exactly what you are here to do yourself because part of and we're all evolving through our own karmic issues right we are all here on planet earth 
evolving from the karma we've experienced in other star systems, but also the karma that we've experienced here on planet Earth. So you may be moving through some karmic reverberations from the conflict that existed on Muldeck. So now knowing that, it's an opportunity for you to do some of the inner work to release perhaps some of the fear, the anxiety, the stress about those final hours and days in that society when you were there. You may be carrying some trauma from what happened. Perhaps you were even a channeler or a clairvoyant at that time and you predicted what was going to happen and you're still dealing with the karmic repercussions of your predictions not being heard or being seen by other people. So there may be some different elements for here to you, for you here to take a look at. But Maldek, what happened in Maldek was very intense. It was very traumatizing. And now you have a second chance to be able to use your technology for good, to be able to learn how to have fun, to connect to your emotions, to learn how to enjoy the full breadth of the human experience here on planet Earth. And also, another lesson for you here is culture. One of the biggest issues that they were showing me about Maldek was that they were so inward and insular in their approach that they didn't work with or connect with other beings out there in other star systems. So you may be here to learn how to get to know other cultures. Maybe you feel drawn to living in another country or working with people who are different than you, who have a different skin tone or a different way of being or who see things in a different way, have a different perception of the world. Maybe you're here to do some traveling or maybe you're here to, you know, maybe you even fall in love with someone of a different culture. So there's, some, there's a big lesson that you're learning in this lifetime as well around collaboration with others and also getting to know people of different cultures, belief systems, because that's part of you're here to have that full experience and because during your time in, in the Maldekian star planet, star system, you didn't have that experience in getting to know other beings in that way. So I hope that you found this video to be very interesting and very insightful. It's a little bit different than some of the ones that I have done in the past. But if you resonate with the planet Maldek, you will feel it in your body. You will know. You'll just have kind of an innate sense of knowingness. You may have some sensations in your body that tell you, oh, I've been there. I've been through the trauma of that. I've witnessed it etc, etc. If that is you, I would love to see you. I would love to do a session with you where we can really dive into what happened during your time in Maldek. We can clear some energy around it and really get clear on what your mission and purpose is here on this planet at this time. So I have all the information about how to book a session with me in my YouTube information and in the uh, show notes, show notes, caption, whatever you want to call it. So make sure you check that out as well. And comment below what resonated with you from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sending you all so much love for a wonderful rest of your week and your day. And I will see you in the next video.